Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video and if you looked at the last video where I installed Manjaro Linux alongside of Windows, um, there was a little bit of a question of whether or not I was going to run into problems with timekeeping. Well, it turns out that I have and although that may not be the case within my VM because both OS's are receiving the time from the host machine, um, on my native installations there was a problem with timekeeping and that was because one operating system was changing the time in the BIOS and the other operating system saw that change and then tried to correct it and they both got off so um, now I have come across the fix I thought I would share that with you it's very simple what we're going to do is exit our um, Linux OS and boot into our Windows OS we're going to make a quick change to the registry, and that should clear up any of the timekeeping problems that we have between the two operating systems. And it's great. This is a, a, a very simple way to uh, go about it. Basically, what we're going to do is change Windows from local time over to UTC. That way, both Linux and Windows will be on UTC, and there will be no more conflicts. All right. And... I'm going to show you the website where we have um, some information here, and I'll put this also in the description. But you'll see on this page that it's basically everything you ever want to know about time and system time. But what we're going to do right here is where it's labeled UTC and Windows. You'll see here that we're just going to add this one registry entry. Uh, called real time is universal and that pretty much clears it up on the Windows side so without further ado let's minimize that we'll go over here to the start button type in reg edit and okay on that and yes and I'm already here but just so that you know how to get there um, we start off at HK local machine we go down to system, we go to current control set, we go to control, and then we go down here to time zone information. All right, and this is the section that we'll be working in. Now, before you make any changes, I think it's a very good idea to back up your registry. And a quick way to do that would be up here, just go to file, export. All right, and you can see right here, I have one registry 8515. Um, you can you can do that too if you want. Uh, I like to put the date on there just that way I know what it was. But you know, you can also go by the modified date, whatever. Just as long as you have a copy of your registry, click on save. All right. Now that that's saved, we can add our value here. So we're going to right click over here on the right space, new. All right. And this is going to be a D word value. So click on that, and then we're going to type in real time is universal all right and make sure you capitalize the first letter in each word there all right hit enter and then we're going to right click that key and click on modify all right and then here we'll change the value data to um a one and then click okay and that is it we can close our registry editor and reboot and you will see that your Windows time is back to normal. So that's really all it comes down to. And if you have any other questions or problems, um, go ahead, put some comments down below and like this video if it was helpful. And take care. God bless.